What's up, gang? Evil here. Happy Father's Day. This is actually Monday following Father's Day, but haven't seen you. Um, happy Father's Day to me was a new compressor. Um, wife and uh, mom kicked in some dough. Um, Sears had a pretty killer uh, Father's Day sale. The thing was like 60% off or something like that. 40 and then 20 or 19. Anyway, I got it for like 206 bucks uh, plus tax. So a pretty smoking deal, I thought. Um, the 20 gallon uh, has uh, plenty of capacity to get the lift up with no problem. So I've been wanting to do uh, strip lighting on the Raptor for a while. Um, just to, I don't know, something. We have cookouts a lot and it's, you know, campfires in the dark. Um, you know, just to make it a little more visible, don't get run into that kind of thing. So I figured I'd install All right, a set. So uh, tools needed are a set of wire strippers, a soldering iron, and soldering skills. Uh, if you cannot solder, obviously you can do a crimp type uh, solderless connection, though I do not think they are as reliable. Uh, Phillips screwdriver, clippers, um, small screwdriver, a pair of scissors, or an exacto knife. Uh, obviously, tools so to take the plastic and whatnot off. And a heat gun helps for doing shrink wrap, uh, so it makes all the connections look nice. So here's what the actual oops, here's what the actual LEDs look like. Um, they're just strip lighting. They're wired for 12 volts. Um, it comes a pack of four, and they're literally like five dollars shipped from China. It took a little bit for me to get here, but um, better than paying 20 or 40 dollars for four of them at Walmart. Um, wiring up is pretty easy. This distribution switch I also got from Walmart works pretty good. We'll see how it holds up to the vibration and whatnot. Um, got to do some type of waterproofing. I don't plan on keeping this plugged in if I'm going to get the bike wet. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is not a permanent solution. It's just for now. I'm looking to do a some kind of toggle, a bar mount toggle switch. If you guys know of any out there, uh, uh, post them up in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, let's flip the lights off and you see what this thing looks like. Alright, there's the end result. I completely redid uh, the lighting. I did have it on the frame rails, um, but with the um, radiator hoses and, and all that, it just it didn't work out. So I ended up just using Shugu to uh, glue them to the bottom of the tank. Uh, Shugu is great. It's waterproof, vibration proof. Does a fantastic job. The front one here is just, uh, it's just zip tied. I uh, pulled the grill out, zip tied it to the back, uh, ran a wire. The only place it's really visible is from the front. What? You can kind of see it. But, uh, and into the back, I ended up just shoegooing it to the bottom of the air box. I had it on the other side, underneath the intake. Uh, but it was just too close to the exhaust. I think it would have degraded it But this is over here where it stays nice and cool it Stays relatively dry because it's behind the uh, bottom of the air box um, And the, the best thing I like about it is Just the lighting is just not very visible Let me Drop the lift down here. There we go down at ground level. So you can see when you're walking around it None of the LEDs are visible just the light Really happy with the way this turned out. Um, this isn't like the $20 kit from Walmart. I ordered these kits off of eBay. They were literally like $4 shipped um, with 3M backing and everything. Um, which I wouldn't trust to hold in place, but use some shoe it stays there really well. Really pleased with the end result. All right, I'm gonna show you how it's wired. Underneath the seat. Um, I just tapped into the uh, the maintenance lead for the battery that you plug your, uh, uh, what do you call it, the trickle charger. Um, it, has a, it has a lead to go straight to the battery. Um, I just had an extra plug la uh, laying around and it just wired it reverse. You're graceful. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't be standing on it. Uh, but anyway, this little piece here, this little distribution box is kind of cool. Um, it lets you control the LEDs individually. You just shut them off and it cleans up your wiring. Um, vibration wise, so far so good. It seems to be holding up okay. Um, like I say, $12 cleans up the wiring. It comes with like a 12 volt adapter, which I cut off um, and just wired it uh, into that maintenance lead. 
Uh, right now I just have a toggle switch to shut it all off. Um, it's already fused, it's got a 7.5 amp fuse on it. It's really shouldn't even come close to pulling that. But anyway, that's that's how I did it. Um, the wiring's all fairly clean, it's all tucked up underneath the bodywork. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, just the, what took so long was my trial and error of remounting the LEDs uh, and then figuring out how I wanted to do the uh, lighting. I think I'm going to do away with this eventually. I'll probably drill a hole and mount that toggle switch like a normal toggle switch. Uh, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you guys that. Um, pretty happy with the way it turned out. It was a lot more work than I thought it would be, but uh, in the end, Pretty happy with it, looks pretty good.